So one of the first places that we're going to talk about is the produce section of the supermarket. This is where you're going to find all the fresh fruits and vegetables, just like the ones you see here. And when we're talking about building a healthy diet, you can't build a healthy body without lots of fruits and vegetables. So, when you visit the produce section of your store, we want you to think more. More in variety and more in quantity. There's so many dietary uh, guidelines out there that say eat less of this or less of that. And here, we really want you to think more. Vitamins and minerals are really high in fruits and vegetables, and those are really important to your diet. Fruits and vegetables are also great sources of fiber, and overall they tend to be low in calories and low in fat. So if weight loss is one of your fitness goals, really these are going to be your best friends. And I couldn't agree more with Georgie. More, more, more. So you might be saying, well, how much more? We're going to make it really easy for you. Ready? Listen up. A third of your shopping cart should be filled with fruits and vegetables, produce, okay? So don't leave the supermarket until it's a third full, and half your plate with any meal, even breakfast, should be either a fruit or a vegetable, okay? So a third of your shopping cart, half your plate. And take a look at all this variety here. You've got tons of choices, so you don't just get to grab this apple and then put one in your shopping cart and say, all right, I'm done for today. That's all the produce I need. Look at all this stuff, okay? And even if you don't like to cook and you're not a fan of spending a lot of time in the kitchen, you can buy pre-cut vegetables like these carrot chips here, okay? Shredded red cabbage, already cut for you. You can even pick frozen varieties and canned varieties too. Nutritionally, they're no different. And so you really do have a lot of variety. The one thing I will say about picking some of these pre-packaged products, just be careful that you're not picking something with added sugar or fats, cream sauces, butter sauces, or in the case of these frozen blueberries, you can see that it says unsweetened on the package. Okay, make sure it doesn't say added sugar. Unsweetened, definitely the way to go. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, a lot of times, it's no problem to find varieties that are plain, and if you want to make them more flavorful yourself, you can do that with uh, healthy seasonings. You can use low-fat salad dressings, such as a, a vinaigrette or a fat-free variety, and you can learn to flavor things by cooking them, uh, as opposed to frying them or drowning them in a cheese sauce. So uh, another tip that we'd like to make when you're going through the produce section and choosing what you're going to fill your one-third of your cart with <laughs> is to look for a rainbow and try and get a variety of different colors. Now if you see uh, a lot of these things happen to be green. So let's say you picked up salad greens, zucchini, and a green pepper. You know, all of these are great, fine, healthy foods. But to really get the maximum benefit of all the fruits and vegetables, you really want to incorporate a rainbow. And the reason that um, we talk about colors is because each of the color families tends to have uh, a nutrient that it's associated with. So for example, if you look at these carrot chips that are a bright orange color, they're high in beta carotene, as are other orange foods like winter squash or pumpkin. And if you look here at these nice blackberries or the red cabbage, and you see the purple color that's present here, that's from compounds that are called anthocyanins, and those have some anti-cancer properties. Now it's not important to remember the names, not everybody's a chemist or a food scientist, but if you just think, oh, I'm going to get a few orange and red vegetables, I'm going to get some green ones, I'm going to get some purple ones, you'll have the maximum benefit for your body. And just to um, recap quickly, fruits and vegetables are your friends here, okay? Um, Disease-fighting characteristics, lots of vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants. So if you take a few key points home from this section, we'd like you to remember that fruits and vegetables are among the highest sources of vitamins and minerals. And for that reason, you should incorporate more of them in as many ways as you can. And it's very easy to do that. Don't forget about that. You have very easy choices here. Pre-cut vegetables, frozen vegetables, frozen fruits. So you really have no excuse. The last thing we'd like you to think is to incorporate as many colors as you can into your cart when you're filling it up with fruits and vegetables and also to get those onto your plate so they can get into your body and make it healthier.